Buenas tardes, estamos en el Sonorama 2011 Aranda de Duero, eh, desde la carpa de Lados Magazine. Estamos con Sara Ulauz, con Ten y con Adam, y vamos a, con motivo de su último disco, vamos a poder preguntarles unas cosillas. Hi, good afternoon. Um, first of all, I would like to, to congratulate you for your last album. Okay, this is your third album. Okay, and listening listening to work, um, I felt that you have grown up. Uh, you have uh, your sound is like more calm, or oh, calmer, sorry, and cleaner. And but uh, with songs like uh, uh, Walls 1999. It's uh, you, you show us that you are the same. You are the same band that makes uh, amazing songs, uh, which makes us dance and funny, have fun. Um, tell me something about the the composition of the album. Uh, what do you think? Uh, agree? Or not agree? I mean, I I mean you. I think you said it really well yourself. I mean. I don't know if we grew up or not, but uh, we, we looked for a more a cleaner, pure sound on, on the work album. Uh, more uh, how we sound in rehearsal space. And, and it was a time that we maybe was composing those sort of songs. It's hard to describe why and, and why, you know, that, that's, that's happening in your songwriting. So I think, oh, thank you. Uh, <laughs> but um, I think the sound and, and the whole uh, idea of of, of, of uh, the pureness and, and uh, of the songwriting and our instrumentation as well. So, but I think I think the next one is maybe gonna be more playful uh, or a, a mix. I, I mean, it depends. It, it, uh, it all depends. Yeah, yeah well. how you feel at a certain time, you know. And, uh, I think at uh, yeah at that time we wanted to be in the rehearsal space a lot and play together all five and. Now it's been like scattered. We, you know, some days we're only two, some days we're all five, and it comes in, and it, it we'll see. You know, it's. Uh, but you know, we, and we're growing up, uh, and you know, we are. So we've been doing this for ten years. There's nothing we can do about that. The thing is, we try to take pills and 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 other things, but it's not happening. But I mean, we still. I think it's to be a band, you have to be curious about new things all the time. So. Yeah. I, so I think we're never gonna grow up in that sense. I mean, we still feel like when we're on tour still feel like kids what about the music uh, I would like to know what kind of music uh, have you been listening then uh, in the process of the composition of the album uh, and now um, well it was almost two years ago we recorded this album so um, do you remember what we listened to in studio uh, yeah we were listening to uh, well you guys are listening to a lot of hip-hop <laughs> Yeah, there was a lot of hip hop in, in, and we were talking about the drums. We still do things. I mean, I sometimes when we write songs, or I, I have ideas of drums as very hip hop influence. Then it turns out to be different. But um, um, I don't remember really what what we listened to. What do you listen to? Well, we were listening to War on Drugs and uh, like a lot of uh, those. Uh, I mean, more like um, rock, like more ambient, kind of more uh, crowdy rock bands, which is, I've been listening to a lot of that. And then, uh, um, I mean, obviously, you always go back and listen to, I've been listening to a lot of my really old records too l lately, you know, just going back and kind of digging up old stuff. But I think right before, when you're in the process of writing and recording, it's like you, you listen to all kinds of things. Yeah, talking about uh, your sound, uh, I have to say uh, that your sound in life is excellent, brilliant, and I have I can hear you uh, on the proof a few minutes ago. Yeah, and you transmit uh, you transmit uh, lots of um, energy. Okay, uh, what transmit you the Spanish fans, the Spanish public? Um. I mean, I have to say the best festivals I think are here in Spain. I mean, uh, we actually play. This is the fourth time this um, uh, this year in in Spain, so it's always been really, really good. Um, I don't, I can't really describe why. I mean, seems like when the sun goes down, you wake up. You know, it's too hot for you. So I mean, I think everyone's really, <laughs> yeah. So it's like playing for like five thousand vampires. I'm not sure, but uh, no, it's a lot of energy, I guess. You know, it's, uh, it's always a lot of. Uh, 
a lot of energy and and people really have energy to go out and see see a lot of shows and yeah we played in in um, a festival a low coast festival a couple of weeks ago in Benidorm and people were sort of dancing so it's more like a dance party people were like dancing with each other not maybe n I don't know if they were listening they were just I don't know maybe they were on drugs I, I don't know <laughs> I don't know but it was such a good feeling you know <laughs> Lots of orange. <laughs> okay, um, uh, talking about the Sweden music, okay, uh, uh, Sweden music sounds uh, really, really optimistic, very optimistic. Uh, are you Sweden optimistic by nature? <laughs> I don't know. Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I think since. Uh, Maybe it, you know things. It's easier to make things in Sweden sometimes because it's just so few people. You can kind of just go out and get and do what you want. So maybe people are more like naive, maybe than just optimistic. And I think that uh, sometimes with music too, it's like you make music, and of course we're gonna record and tour all over, and you just do it. You don't think so much about it. So it's not. I don't think necessarily it's just an optimistic thought. It's just like just go grab it. It's out there. So. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> yeah, okay. It's optimistic. But I think, I mean, it's, it's always, um, maybe the music is optimistic, but when you listen to music in, in a rhythm in Swedish, there's a lot of m melancholy in it because of the, the, the nature and, and uh, you know, it's dark um, almost like five months a year. And, and so that's sort of, I like how most of the uh, Swedish bands are really good at mixing those two feelings. Um, so. Um, I think just to have the, that's what, that's why sort of the recipe for us when we started and still do, to sort of have, to mix those, those, those happy and, and, and sad things that, that sort of is for real. Okay. Um, what do you expect to, of, of us? What do you expect of us tonight? What do you expect of Sonorama? Uh, there will be a lot of people. Okay. No, no, that's okay. Uh, I don't know. I mean, we're gonna go back to sleep a little bit, rest. So we're gonna be like, uh, <laughs> I think. I mean, this is actually the, our final show for the summer. So I think we're gonna try to, to celebrate this and to, to do the best show we can. I mean, it's been a great summer. It's been last summer was more busy for us. This year we could just enjoy. So I mean, this is the last one for uh, the yeah. season. Yeah. So uh, it's like a grand finale. So I, we're going to do our best, so you have yeah. to dance. Yeah. Yeah. I will, I yeah. will. <laughs> All right. Okay, so if you can say something for the people who read and watch Lados Magazine, something in Spanish maybe, or? Uh, I don't know any Spanish. No? And? Uh, uh, sala what? Saludos. Saludos. Alados. Alados. Y a Sonorama. El Sonorama.